All right, we are going to do um, some of these problems here. Um, we're going to start with number two. So they give us a parametric equation. Um, here's x of t, here's y of t. They want us to find the length of the arc from t equals zero to t equals three. So when you hear arc length, um, you should think, um, I'll use L equals, uh, it's the square root of vx squared plus vy squared. There's a variety, oh, sorry, the integral from t1 to t2 of that thing, dt. So um, notice they gave us x of t. Uh, so I need to take its derivative to get the velocity because that's the x position. And y of t is the y position. So I've got to take the derivative of this and plug it in there for v and the derivative of this and plug it in there for, for the other v. So um, vx is x prime, which is, uh, gives me negative 6 sine of t. Um, and then you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm just going to, whoops, I'm going to square that thing, right? So um, vx squared is um, all right, negative 6 sine t squared, which the negative is going to get squared out. Um, so I'm going to get a 36, and then I'm going to get a sine squared of t. Similarly, um, y over here is um, vy. I'm going to take the derivative of y, pro, or of, of y of t. So I'm going to get 6 cosine of t. If I take that and square it, vy squared is going to be 36 I'm running out of space, but there we go. Cosine squared of t. So what I'm going to do is slide this in for vy. And uh, this, whoops, undo. It's getting a little messy. This here is going to go in for vx. So I'll write that out. Um, it is, my L is the integral from... And I'm going to go integral from 0 to 3 because that's the time that was given to me right here and here um, of the square root. Oops. I'm using software that I haven't used in a while. Square root of, all right, the vx is going to be 36 sine squared t uh, plus the vy is going to be 36 cosine squared t. So um, this one is one that we can simplify pretty easily. What we can do is say dt. This is the integral from 0 to 3 of the square root of, I can factor the 36 out and get sine squared t plus cosine squared t dt. And then this is, this is where like it simplifies a whole lot. Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. You should know that from algebra. Um, so I just that whole piece just goes away because it turns to 1. So I get the integral from 0 to 3 of the square root of 36 dt. Well, the square root of 36 is 6. So I get the integral from 0 to 3 of 6 dt, which I'm almost done. I get 6t evaluated from 0 to 3 after I integrate. And then that gives me 6 times 3, which is 18, minus 6 times 0, which is 0. So my answer is 18.